Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a video solution for how to do problem 2.5 from the in-class bingo problems. So this one is pretty straightforward. It's talking about uh, finding average velocity and average speed uh, based on the information that's given to us. So that given information that I've already put up here on the whiteboard is that somebody starts at a farmhouse and then they travel 60 meters to a windmill and that takes 28 seconds to get there. And then from there, they turn back around, go back towards the house, and this time they go 40 meters and it takes 36 seconds. And they end up set at a bench right there at that point. And so what the question is asking is to find the average velocity and the average speed of this whole trip that was made. So first of all, I drew out this little visual just to help myself think through it a little bit. And I also made a north, south, east, west coordinate system just so I kept everything straight in my brain. So to start out, let's start with part A, which is the average velocity. So how we find that is all the average velocity is, is it's the change in the displacement over the change in time. So as we look at this visual that we've made, we know that the person went 60 meters out, but then came back 40 meters. And so with displacement, we only count where they ended and where they started. And so that amount from where they started to where they ended was only 20 meters. So that's our displacement. So I'll just write this up here. Oops. V average equals, so we'll say 20 meters over and then change in time. So we know that that took 28 seconds plus 36 seconds. So the total amount of time, the change in time was 64 seconds. So we'll put that in the denominator. And then when we simplify that fraction there, that ratio, we end up with 0 0.313 meters per second for the average velocity. So now that's all for part one, or part A. So for part B, now we need to find the average speed. And with the speed, instead of using the displacement, we use the total distance that was traveled. So we won't use the displacement this time. So what we do with this one is instead of finding that displacement, we add up the two distances that this person traveled. So the first was 60, second was 40, we add that together, we end up with 100. So I'll just say speed average equals 100 over, so that's the total distance traveled, and then over the change in time. And we know from part A that that change in time was 64 seconds, so we'll use that again. So 64 seconds, the 100 was meters. So now when we simplify that, we end up with 1.563 meters per second. So that's all for this problem. Just to summarize what we've done is to find the average velocity, we had to find the displacement and put that over the change in time. And then for part B, the average speed, instead of using the displacement, we use the total distance traveled over, once again, the change in time. And so hopefully this helps you out and we'll see you in the next problem.